Hello, today we are going to talk about programming, it is absolutely for beginner, if you are, hope this short video can create your interests of programming, but if you are experienced programmer, I think this video is boring for you. Let's start with some basic stuff. First we need to know the basic idea what is an operating system. Then we need to use a program called terminal. Finally we will demonstrate how to write a C++ hello world program. So what is Linux? Linux is same as Windows, iOS, Mac OS, you may be using it on PC, notebook, iPhone dot dot etc, they are all operating systems. So what is an operating system? Operating system is a software realize the communication between hardware and software, without operating system, whatever you type in the keyboard, won't show up on the screen, same as the mouse click. Beside, operating system also allows you to execute programs such as open a browser, terminal or VI. What is a terminal? Terminal is a program that interact between user and a shell. Shell is another program that take command from user and pass to operating system to execute. Terminal and shell are widely used together in Linux. This is kind of abstract, let me do some demonstration here. This is Ubuntu desktop, in the left bottom, click the application. Type terminal in the search box and then select the application which is called terminal. Now the terminal program is opened and running. Actually we can create a shortcut such that we don't need to type every time when we want to open a terminal. Again, in the application, we right click the mouse on the terminal instead of left click. And then select add to favorites. Now the terminal is shown in this bar and will be here in next restart as well and you can open it anytime by clicking it here. Personally, I will drag the terminal up a bit because I always use it. This command line interface is a shell program, waiting for input. Let me talk about some basic stuff, every running program is called a process. Each process in Linux has a process ID. Process ID is a unique number among all the active processes in Linux. So let's find out the process ID of terminal and shell. Here I will use the echo command. Echo dollar PPID. The dollar mean a variable, PPID is the variable name which means the parent process ID. You can see that the parent process ID is 7043 which is terminal process. I need another two commands to verify 7043 is the correct process ID of the terminal. PS is the command to show process information, and grep is used to filter it. I will explain them in detail later. PS of x grep 7043, this shows that 7043 is the process ID of GNOME terminal. What is the process it of the shell? It can be found by the command echo dollar dollar. The first dollar means variable, the second dollar means current process ID. It shows that 7053 is process ID of current process, and we can verify it again use ps and grep command. It shows that 7053 is process ID of bash, and bash is one of the popular shell in Linux. Here I would like to introduce you a command which is called man. Man stands for manual. Type man and then follow a command, it will show you the manual of that command. It is very helpful, because there is a lot of option or usage for single command, no one can memorize all of them. Here we go, the first C++ hello world program. There are three main steps, firstly, we create a file with source code. Secondly, compile this source code into an executable file. Lastly, execute this file. Let's start with a terminal and find a suitable path to store our source code. I am using vi to create a file called hw.cpp, let's me type the source code, and I will explain this line by line later. hw.cpp is our hello world source code. What we are going to do is to compile it using G++. An executable file is generated after compilation. 
The name is hw you can see the file permission is x which means executable. The source file hwcpp don't have this executable permission. Let's execute the program by dot slash following with the file name hw. We just execute our program and it display hello word. What just happening in the executing the hello world program? We can use strace to trace the program, there is a lot of system calls during executing the program. Finally, we can see the hello world string at the end. Let's go back to our source code. Can we change the program to print something else? Rather than just hello world? The answer is obvious. I am going to change the program to display hello make learning fun. To do this, we just replace the word world inside the double quote with learning fun. Whenever the source file is changed, we need to compile it again to get the executable file. Now the program displays hello make learning fun instead of hello world. Let's fine tune a bit our source code. You probably see using namespace std another example. I don't include it at the beginning because it is not a must. It just can simplify the source code by reducing the words std double semicolon. I can now remove std double semicolon and our source code become cleaner. It does no effect in terms of functionality. Compile and run again. The result is the same. Hope you guys enjoy this video and have some interests on the programming. I will explain the source code and compiler a bit more in next video, stay tuned, bye bye. Thank you for watching our video, if you enjoy this video please click the button to subscribe our channel, thank you.